Skincare routine, let's talk about it. it hasn't changed too much, but yeah, we're gonna get into it today. So stick around, here we go. Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. I'm Britt, creator of The Style Shaker. If you know, then you know that I've tried thousands of products over the past few years and I've shared honest reviews so you have a better idea of what to buy and what not to buy. I'm gonna start with the heavy hitters in my current repertoire. It's one retinol, but it's not my number one favorite retinol, but I will mention it over here because I have been using it. Skin Medica Retinol Complex, and this is 0.25. I have tried quite a few different retinols in the cleaner space, which is ill-defined, I know, but I've tried a few. The one that I happen to adore that I have run out of is from Maya Chia, and that is their Straight A Retinol. It is encapsulated in oil. I have very sensitive skin. This is the skin of a 43-year-old person, so just keep that in mind. I have dry skin. It's not as dry. I think I've done some pretty solid barrier repair, so like head on the back to me. It can have some redness here. I also take a very inside out approach. So I'm watching what I eat. If I have a lot of sugar, my skin looks like crap the next day. Same with alcohol, that kind of thing. I probably will go back to my Chia Straight A. This is something that I have, so I wanna keep giving it a test. However, my tests are really slow with this. Even 0.25 is a lot for my skin. So I use this once or twice a week. Probably working up to twice now, but it took me weeks to get there. I am not a dermatologist. Just because this works for me does not at all mean it's gonna work for you. Please consult an expert when you try any of these products. I am not an expert. I'm just sharing my experience with the products. No brand is paying me to say anything here. I will use this once or twice a week now and I don't use it all over the face. I'm still kind of getting into this area. I would like to do more on the neck, necklines and stuff like that. That's very sensitive skin. I had a really bad reaction to a retinol that I tried from Marie Veronique, it was not her, that problem, her. It was not the product's fault. It was because I was using it in conjunction with other skincare and mixing them and my skin was, oh, it got, it got pissed. I had to go out cortisone cream and then I had to drive across the country, but that's a whole nother story. That wasn't because of the breakout. That was like, I was planning my road trip from San Francisco to Nashville. And then I had like a whole patch of red, red I looked so contagious. It was, it was really bad. So I'm very, very cautious when it comes to retinols. I will use this and then the one cream that I use on top that works and really prevents a dry feeling is the Waleda Skin Food. This is the original formula, the thicker, denser balm salve. This goes on top of it after I let this soak in for a minute and then I go to bed and that prevents the dryness. Still, however, I do notice fine lines are, they're getting there, but they're gonna be there. Like I have the privilege of aging, thank you so much. It's gonna be a little tricky. Oh my God, I think the leaf blowers are starting. Sorry, I'm sorry, I have to continue. I have to carry on, keep calm and carry on. So that's a really good skincare combination. Plus, if you want to, you can check out the Maya Chia Straight A Retinol. I wanna talk a little bit about cleansers because I have an unpopular approach probably. I do a lot of oil cleansing. I rarely double cleanse. This is dry skin, like I mentioned. So anything stripping, I do not like. Anything sudsy, skin does not like that. So as a result, what I use is the True Botanicals Ginger Turmeric Cleansing Balm. I've talked about this before. It has been on Brit's Picks for a while. Brit's Picks is out of the thousands of products that I have tried. Those are my current top 20 favorites. They do switch out. This has stayed on there quite a bit. I will keep trying other cleansing balms. The texture of this is really great and it does get everything off. However, every now and then, maybe once a week, I feel the need to have an additional double cleanse. I don't do it every day. And that's when I will use the One Love Organics Botanical A Cleanser. This is beautiful, AHA and BHA. This balm has AHA inside of it. Must be very small quantities. It does not irritate. It gets eye makeup off and everything like that. Oh, by the way, she's like under the blanket. She's burrowing. It's a new thing. That's the cat, by the way, for those of you who don't know, her name's Blue. This gets everything off without stripping my skin. It feels phenomenal, I maybe once or twice a week. And then from there, I will apply a serum, I will apply a cream. Sometimes I'll put an oil on top to lock it in. That is the order in which I apply my skincare, I do it primarily at night. I don't do the whole rigmarole in the morning, but I will tell you what I do in the morning because that's kind of fun too. Just want to honorable mention, there's the Botanical B Enzyme Cleansing Oil from One Love Organics. 
really incredible brand, by the way. I had her on my podcast. She created like, I think the only eco cert facility at the time, or maybe it was the East Coast one in the States. Incredible. Such a really smart, smart human being and woman. This is one of their most popular products for a reason. I really do think that I've had quite a bit of barrier repair over the past few months. And for some reason, my skin has become less reactive. So yay. This used to kind of bug me a little bit, but now this is a lighter weight version of, they're not the same, but this is lighter weight. This gets the eye makeup off a little bit easier, I will say, than the True Botanicals Cleansing Balm. During the rest of the evening, I will put on, you have the retinol, first I'll cleanse, then we'll do the retinol, and again, I do not do that every night. On the nights when I do not use that retinol, I do use, if I have red skin and it's a little inflamed, I'm still using the True Botanicals Jabula, Jabula, Active Immunity Serum. You think, I've been trying this, using it for years, you think I know by now. I'm almost at the end of this. I will use that, it calms down my skin like nothing else. I really don't, I couldn't tell you what, obviously it's the ingredients. Something about this formula, it's very lightweight, almost like a gel texture. I pop it on, let it absorb into the skin, and then I moisturize when I'm not doing the retinol serums. Then we have a cream on top of that, so a face cream. They vary by season. I will do a lighter weight face cream for summer, heavier weight for winter. I have yet to find my holy grail face cream. I have talked about a face cream from Dam Dam Mochi Mochi. Their plumping cream, it's sort of like a gel cream, very beautiful, lightweight, in plastic, not happy about that. I, I get that this is kind of a lot of True Botanicals, but I really, really do like their brand. They are not at all paying me to say this, but they have gifted me products in the past, and I have repurchased quite a few of them. Okay, so that's saying something, because I pretty much never do that, I would say. So the True Botanicals Chebula Extreme Cream, this is a richer, more dense cream. I like it. I would say it's really high up there. It feels almost like buttercream. It smells a little herbaceous, slash like an old fashioned cocktail to me. I don't know, like an, technically an old fashioned, how that smells, that's how this kind of, I don't know, that's just me. Also kind of woodsy. Anyway, a little bit goes a very long way. It does a nice job with my skin. The Dam Dam works really nice too. I'm still on the hunt for something that I really love as a moisturizer. I have a couple of very interesting contenders that were just sent to me. One is from Odyssee, one is from Osea. So brands that I know and love, I will give them a try and I will report back to you. If you have a face cream or really any category for your skincare routine, I would love to know what your current skincare routine is. Take a second, pop it in the comments and let us know what type of skin you have, you know, your age, kind of what you're dealing with with your skin. I think that would be amazing. You will not see a vitamin C serum here. That does not mean I don't like them. I just haven't added them in. Again, I try and keep it minimal, but I am starting to incorporate vitamin C. It will probably be a daytime thing. And like I mentioned at night, if I do want to lock everything in, I'll use an oil. I don't lie on my back when I sleep all the time, so I feel like it just rubs off on my pillow. <laughs> That's the truth. I do use a lip mask every freaking night, and it is from Alpine Beauty. I love it. It's the best one and it's empty and I have got to buy another one. I have been saying that forever. So I've been using alternates and testing them and nothing has compared to this product yet, okay? So it's just, it's really good. It's velvety, it's not sticky, it's not tacky. And when you wake up in the morning, you will still feel the moisture. It does not evaporate. Which by the way, I feel like I should probably do something for body care as well, probably hair care because there's, there's a lot. It's not a lot of products, but let me know if you'd like to see something like that. So let's talk about the morning routine. Nighttime is really traditionally like what you would normally see. These are just the products, right? So you have the cleansing, the serum, the moisture, possibly the oil. Daytime, I don't mess with my skin much, but there are a couple of holy grail items. I hate to say that, but they are.